At the end of this video, you will know how to safely catch and handle any size toad or frog. Let's start with toads because they're very common in people's window wells. First of all, you definitely want to wear a pair of gloves. I'll explain why a little later on in this video. All you have to do to pick up a toad is just cup it in your hands. Cupping the toad allows you to avoid squishing its internal organs. You definitely want to be careful with it around its belly. Letting it sit in the palm of your hand with your other hand on top also helps avoid it jumping away and hurting itself. Now, as you can see, I'm running to another end of the yard because this isn't a safe place for the toad. If you have toads in your window well, definitely check out the video above. I give you everything you need to help them out. All right, now let's say that you have baby toads and you wanna to pick them up. First of all, be sure to put on those gloves and then just separate the grass and let it hop into your hand. As you can see, catching baby toads is very easy. They're a little less apprehensive compared to adult toads. Although most toads are not poisonous to humans in North America, you still wanna be careful when handling them by wearing gloves. Now, if a toad pees on you, you definitely wanna let it go. It's because it's stressed out and afraid. Check out the video above if you have any questions about toads peeing on you. It's actually a pretty common occurrence. Small frogs are more difficult to catch. First of all, put on those gloves. The reason you should wear gloves is because frogs can carry viral and bacterial diseases like salmonella, and you don't wanna have that on your hands or get it into your bloodstream. Now, one super important step when safely handling frogs is to definitely wet your hands. Frogs live in water and they need to stay moisturized and hydrated. Here's the frog we're gonna catch. All you have to do is scoop it out of the water and cup it in your hands. As you can see, this frog is very relaxed and I can even hold it in my hand while it's just sitting there. Be sure to keep it close to the ground so that it doesn't hurt itself if it tries to jump away. To release it, just drop it right back in the water nice and slowly. It'll probably swim away on its own. Now, large frogs are another story. Look at how big this bullfrog is. What's wrong with this picture? This is stock footage, so this is not a video that I made, but as you can see, this guy is not wearing gloves and he has a cut on his finger. That could definitely be a problem if the frog is carrying any viral or bacterial disease like salmonella. It could get into his bloodstream, so you definitely wanna be sure to wear gloves. But as you can see, when holding a large frog like a bullfrog, you wanna just have it rest on your fingers in the palm of your hand. And to keep it in position, you can hold its back legs, but don't squish it too hard. When in this position, it's much harder for the frog to jump away. You can cup it like this as well, but be sure not to squish it around the belly. Now here are some things that you should not do. This frog looks pretty chill, but what if it jumped away? It would be at a pretty high height and that could definitely hurt the frog. So you don't wanna carry it too high in the air and definitely do not pet frogs. Frogs are not cats or dogs. They do not like to be pet and this can be very bad for their skin. You should wear gloves to protect yourself, but also to protect the frog. Frogs breathe and drink through their skin and the oils, dirt, and debris on our skin can hurt them. So just never do this. Don't pet frogs. And wear gloves. Good luck catching frogs. Be safe and kind to them.